Hello, I'm Dr. Shelley Sommerfeld, psychologist and coach with the Loving Roots Project. I wanted to do a quick video about finding your center. When we speak about being centered physically, we often think of the center of gravity and being well balanced. For mental and emotional states, it's very similar. Being centered means being very balanced and at peace. It's often referred to as a state of emotional and spiritual equilibrium. It allows you to be accepting of the good and the bad in what you're feeling and understand that things are always changing, but you can return back to your center to help you feel more balanced and grounded when things are difficult. So it can be used as a really wonderful coping skill. Being grounded and centered are emotionally controlled states. Similar to mindfulness, it's a position where you're connected to how you are feeling, what you're thinking, and you feel in control of these thoughts and emotions. Now, it would be completely impossible for any person to be in complete control of everything they're thinking and feeling 100% of the time. And if we really examine our experiences, you'll want to have times of intense emotions, such as happiness or when you feel surprised. But it's also normal to experience sadness, anger, and other emotions. So if we sit emotionless, then we're really not connected truly to how we're feeling. And that's not the goal here. The goal is to feel what you feel in the moment but it's also to be reflective and pensive about your situation so that you're more centered and more in control of your experience. This is a time when we want to focus on having balance between our emotions and our thoughts. Again, many people can focus too much on their thoughts and get wrapped up in their, in their head or the reverse. They can be too emotional and not really thinking clearly. So the goal of being centered is to maintain a balance between your thoughts and your feelings, your head and your heart. It's being able to return to your center during an emotionally difficult situation because that's very helpful. It's a great coping skill that allows you a moment of self-reflection and to work on bettering yourself. And centering also helps you to be more in tune and aware of how you are feeling and how your overall body and mind well-being is functioning. This will help you to cope with diff difficult emotional experiences in the future as well. Centering can help with the coping of many negative emotions such as grief, anger, trauma, depression, and sadness. A regular practice allows you to have a deeper and more meaningful connection with others. So here are some tips to finding your center. Number one, breathe mindfully. Take a few moments each day to meditate, pray, or just sit in a quiet space. Being mindfully present and just focusing on your breath. Start small. Take 10 deep breaths, practice, and maybe work up to doing that for five minutes. You can start your day this way. Many people are turned off by the idea of meditation because it seems too difficult or they may not fully understand what that entails. Think of this as a simple breathing exercise that provides time to pause, breathe, and just be. It's a time to be quiet, without distractions, and you're very present in the moment. One of the easiest ways to be mindful is to simply focus on breathing. So try 10 deep breaths each day to start your day. And number two, be present. Again, as with number one with breathing, we want to be better focused and attentive in the present moment. Limit your distractions. Put away technology. The point here 
is being centered is more of a state that you're you're truly present and in the moment. So work to increase times of being present throughout your day-to-day -day routine. Just take a pause, maybe before you eat lunch, for example, to truly think about your present experience. You may be in your office at work, and before you take that first bite, just sit and pause for a moment to really think, how am I feeling? What am I thinking? What is my present moment like? With practice, you will quickly see how you can build a calm attention to the present moment. And this is very beneficial. And number three, be aware. Being aware of your emotional state takes a moment. When, and you can achieve that through the, those pauses, pausing to breathe and pausing to be present, especially when you're feeling out of balance. If you're struggling with a, a large situation, difficult problem, just pausing for a moment to really collect your thoughts and your emotions is very helpful. Many times throughout the day, we may succumb to feelings of stress, anxiety, sadness. And when we take a moment, to realize those feelings, to sit with them and really experience them, it can have a profound impact. You can be present for a moment with feelings and get rebalanced and centered before continuing your day. It can really help to lower those stress levels. Oftentimes, if we don't get rebalanced or centered, we continue to carry those emotions throughout the day and they will build. They continue building and building often leaving us feeling overwhelmed with stress and anxiety. So it's important to really set time to calm, to breathe, and to take a pause. This idea of being present with your emotions is not necessarily to make all the bad feelings go away, but it will help you to be more aware, more present, and more in control of how you're feeling. This helps you to be more centered. I hope you found these tips helpful and be sure to check out some of our other videos for other self-improvement topics and you can go to our website at lovingrootsproject.com to find out more on online coaching services or work directly with me through individual or couples virtual sessions. Thank you.